Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the value of x power 18 plus x power 12 plus x power 6 plus 1 if x plus 1 over x equals to square root of 3. So in other words, this part we know the value and this part we are going to find the value. We're going to calculate it. And here's the very first step. I have just copied down this part right up here. And let's go ahead and take the cube on both sides. We're going to take power 3 on both sides. And we will be using this fact, this rule. a plus b power 3 equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab times a plus b. So in our case, this x is going to be our a and 1 over x is going to be our b. Let's go ahead and apply that rule. So we are going to get x power 3 plus 1 over x power 3 is going to become 1 over x power 3 plus 3 times x times 1 over x times x plus 1 over x equal to and on the right hand side this part I have just copied it down over here and let's simplify let's tweak it a little bit I can write this thing as square root of 3 and this power 3 could be written as power 2 times square root of 3, isn't it? And we know that this is over here, this square and square root, they are gone. So we got 3 times square root of 3. So that means this right hand side could be written as 3 times square root of 3. And now, in our next step, we are going to simplify x power 3 plus 1 over x power 3. And as we can see that this x and 1 over x, they are gone. So we are left with just simply plus 3 times this x plus 1 over x. We know that value is square root of 3. I'm going to replace that one times square root of 3 equal to 3 times square root of 3. Now let me move uh, this 3 square root of 3 on the right hand side. So we end up with x power 3 over 1 over x power 3 equal to 3 square root of 3 and that's going to become minus 3 square root of 3 so that's going to yield 0 so simply x power 3 plus 1 over x power 3 is going to be 0. And now in our next step we are going to remove this fraction. So we have x power 3 at the denominator. So I can multiply across the board by x power 3. x power 3 on this side, x power 3 over here and x power 3 over here. So that is going to give, give us x power 3 times x power 3 is going to become x power 6 plus this thing they are gone. Simply we got 1 equal to 0 times x power 3 is going to be 0. So thus our x power 6 value is going to be negative 1 and that is our very first step. Now let's move on to the right hand side as we are running out of space on the left hand side and we are going to start with our next step. And in this step I have just copied down this part x power 18 plus x power 12 plus x power 6 plus 1 right up here and we are going to find the value of this expression. And now I am going to tweak this x power 18 as I can write it x power 6 and then power 3 according to this power rule plus 
x power 12 is we're gonna do the same thing likewise I can write x power 6 and then power 2 and then plus x power 6 plus 1 now as we can see that we already know the value of x power 6 from the previous step that was negative 1 I am going to replace that one so I can write negative 1 power 3 plus likewise this is negative 1 power 2 plus this x power 6 is negative 1 plus 1 and now we know that the negative 1 power 3 is simply negative 1 plus negative 1 square is simply positive 1 positive time negative 1 is going to yield negative 1 and then plus 1 and as we can see this negative 1 plus 1 is gone negative 1 plus 1 so everything yield to 0 so the value of this expression turns out to be 0 and thus our final answer turns out to be a 0 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye